Good morning, everyone. This is Jordan, and today we're going to talk about Dover Frank. Now, this pair was on my list for quite some time, and in the past few days, things are actually starting to happen. I'm looking at Platform X, where the software is confirming on every single time frame and time frame combination here. Long term, mid term, short term, everything, every single combo is giving us the output of strong bullish momentum. And um, the idea here is to wait for pullbacks and to buy. I'm personally going to be trading this on the mid term or the longer term. So I'm going to focus on this part. And that being said, what I can do now is go ahead and check out um, the price and the actual chart. So starting, actually let's start from the higher time frames weekly and daily and so on and so forth. The first thing I want to check is levels, levels and structures. So one thing becomes pretty obvious and clear that this is the most uh, tick zone that we can expect for the price to bounce if it goes and gives us a pullback is right here. That's based on daily. That's pretty much all right. On weekly chart, I don't need to be looking at anything else. Then I'm dropping down to the daily chart and here or weekly doesn't matter. We can actually see that the price is breaking out of this consolidation or a triangular structure. On the daily chart, we can also go ahead and see where the levels are. Well, it makes sense because we're looking at pretty much the same zone. Uh, the levels to be approximately the same. This time the zone here is extended to the upside a bit, covering that level right here. And one more thing that becomes evident is that look at where the daily invalidation for the bullish uh, momentum is. This is coming from the software. So basically, in other words, what I can say is this is also the weekly. Remember that we dropped this line here. So as long as this line holds, I know that this is a weekly level. I know that this is daily invalidation. I want this swing low right here to hold. This is 91.50 approximately. And until it holds, pullbacks and buys is what I'm looking for. And it's really that simple. You just go ahead over the time frames. You get the direction, first of all. Then you're looking at the levels, structures, if any, are present, breakouts of important levels, etc. And then you build up your plan. So all I have to do now is figure out the exact levels or zones, the optimal levels or zones where I can be looking for the buys. And to do that, we can drop to the even lower time frames or find patterns uh, and levels on the um, daily chart. As we're on daily at the moment, what we can see is that we have these two lines right here. And those are, I think, monthly. Yeah, we have resistance three monthly plus resistance one weekly so this is a pretty strong decent level which in my opinion is going to create some kind of reaction and the price is going to give us a pullback so if you're not involved from the actual very breakout right here on the lower time frame somehow um, by all means in my opinion don't go ahead and attack it here wait for pullbacks okay so once again, what are the optimal levels? First of all, we have a breakout of the swing high. Then we have a trend line. And here we have resistance to monthly. So overall, this is the very first zone where I will pay attention. Basically, what I'm going to do is I will drop a few boxes where I see very strong levels. And once and if the price gets there, if I get a setup and a reversal, I will be looking to buy, whether this is here, here, or here, or whatever, right? So going down to the four hour chart, um, as I said, we have more levels down and this is resistance one month. So I need to pay attention to that. This is one of the levels that we drew above. So I'm going to mark that as well, right here. And then we have this one and that one. I'm not going to drop boxes everywhere. I have the lines, right? So keeping the chart a bit cleaner. 
But overall, this is it, right? I mean, it's extremely simple. All I have to do now is wait for this thing to go ahead, give me a pullback. And during the pullback, I will try to find my entries here. And once that happens, I am looking for bullish attempts. Since this is, as I said, daily chart, and I'm going to trade that mid to long term, my validation is right here. This is also fitting perfectly with the structure that we find on daily. So it will take a bit more time to develop, but when you think about it uh, in relative terms, it's absolutely simple. Breakout, momentum, this one is confirming, this one is confirming, everything lining up um, for the buys here, all right? So that would be all, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.